The Universal Bus Connector, or USB for short, is the industry standard for cables and connectors. Quite literally, almost all consumer laptops, PCs, smartphones now use the USB standard. You'd be hard pressed to find a modern consumer device that doesn't have a USB connector in one way or another. In today's video, we'll be looking at the two most popular types of USB, and that is USB-A and USB-C. So let's look at how these two versions compare with each other in terms of performance, user convenience, and adoption. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrent, we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Thanks to USB, consumers don't have to worry about buying a hundred different connectors for their their devices and manufacturers can put USB connectors on their devices without worrying if they will be compatible with devices and cables made by other companies. And like any other technology, USB has progressed over time and has had various versions and iterations of the connector type, offering improvements in both data transfer speeds and power delivery. So let's start with USB Type-A, the OG connector. This is the USB connector that you might be most familiar with. This is the standard connector used with most external devices and peripherals and the chances are on the other side of your USB charging cable for your phone it's going to be a USB type A cable. From laptops to smart TVs to game consoles all of these have USB type A ports. USB type A ports and plugs have been around ever since the USB standard since 1996. So it's definitely a classic and it's a classic for a reason. In terms of performance, USB type A supports standards of up to USB 3.2 10 gigabits per second with the support of up to nine pins. This is where the USB jargon can get a little bit confusing. But basically, USB type A represents the physical shape of the connector plug and port, while USB 2.0 and USB 3.2 and so on and so on represents the USB standards. These standards dictate the data transmission and power capabilities of the USB connector in question. So USB type C was introduced in 2014 and ever since has increased in popularity. There are a few reasons reasons for this, and most notably is the conveniently shaped connector and excellent power delivery. The 24-pin double-sided connector means that you can plug in a USB Type-C connector without having to worry about which side is up and which side is down, providing a better user experience. USB-C has a higher power delivery capacity. USB-C supports power delivery of up to 48 volts and 240 watts, thanks to the updated USB Type-C 2.1 specification. In terms of the performance, USB-C with the USB 4.0 standard can do speeds of up to 40 gigabits per second compared to USB-A, which maxes out at 10 gigabits per second. This is a significant improvement from the smaller, more convenient connector. So let's look at how these two connectors fare against each other. The first and most important distinguishing factor is the ease of use. Just count how many times you must have tried to plug in a USB-A cable into a port and because it's not symmetrical there is only one way to plug it in and you're always missing it. USB-C fixes that issue by making the connector the same way either way you put it in, meaning that you can blindly plug in the connector without worrying about which is the correct side. Secondly, since USB-C is a more recent iteration of the USB family, it supports more modern USB standards like USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4. This means that if you are looking to get the best of the best, USB-C is the way to go. While USB-A can get pretty fast as well thanks to USB 3.2 Gen 2 at 10 gigabits per second. It doesn't support that newer standard that can offer speeds of up to 40 gigabits per second on supported devices. USB-C also takes the cake in terms of power delivery. USB-C supports power delivery of up to a whopping 240 watts. This allows users to use a USB cable to power large devices like gaming laptops and monitors. And we're gonna see 250 watt USB Type-C coming out in the near future in more and more devices. Devices. This is just not possible with USB Type-A. In fact, USB Type-C can also be used for video display instead of using an HDMI or DisplayPort cable, as it has the bandwidth to support DisplayPort 2.0 Alt Mode. This means up to a whopping 8K 60p for displays. This is just not possible with USB-A. USB-C is definitely the more modern of the two
two types of connectors and therefore offers the greatest speeds and ease of use as compared to USB type A. The USB Implementers Forum, an organization that works on USB standards, is dedicated to making USB-C the universal connector of the future. USB-C supports standards as low as USB 2.0, so even your older devices can still be used with the right cable. Even Apple might be forced to support USB-C on its iPhones according to the new EU law that requires all devices to universally support USB-C in order to cut down on electronic waste. This ruling will also further the spread of USB-C as most modern Android phones do use USB-C already. Even though USB Type-C is still a little bit more expensive to implement into a device compared to USB Type-A, it's not going to be long before consumers just lose interest in USB Type-A devices as fewer and fewer devices are going to have USB-A ports. We do still live in a world where USB-A is still a critical part of our lives, but like I said, it's only a matter of time before we start to see USB-A basically fade into the distance as more and more consumers want USB-C over USB-A. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you found this video interesting, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can watch more content like this. Also, leave a comment down below on what you would like explained or any other topics you would just like us to discuss or dive into a little bit deeper. I really love hearing your ideas. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.